Former U.S. Vice President Dan Quayle continued his visit to Taiwan today. He first visited President Ma ying and later took the opportunity to meet with KMT presidential candidate Hong Shou Chu. When Dan Quayle met with President Ma today, Ma attributed stability in the Taiwan-U.S. relations as well as cross-strait relations to his policies. If future government promotion of cross-strait policy does not follow the framework of the ROC Constitution and the 1992 consensus, then it will be hard to predict the outcome. Whoever uh, succeeds you as, as president of Taiwan, uh, they will be able to build on those foundations that you have established. So thank you. After visiting President Ma, Quayle went to the KMT party headquarters to meet KMT presidential nominee Hong Shouju. A day earlier, he met with Tsai Ing-wen who told him that she was confident the DPP would become the ruling party next year. Today, Hong also expressed confidence in her chances in the upcoming presidential election. <laughs> Hong has referred to herself as the poorest candidate ever nominated by the KMT. She brushed away questions relating to the vast wealth of the party that backs her. <laughs> According to the latest data released by the Ministry of the Interior, the KMT's total assets are worth more than 25 billion NT dollars, which is far in excess of the DPP's assets of just 470 million NT.